Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tomasz and in this video I'm going to present and compare two methods of how to download file from URL. I will not read the definitions from other websites, I just don't want to do that. My goal is to show you how I understand and use that. So without further ado, let's go to the first method URL download to file function. So this was the first method I have ever learned to download file from URL, most likely because it's function name. Firstly, you need to declare this function pointing out which and where this comes from. As you can see, this function returns long type value, comes from the library URL mon and has its alias URL download to file A. Also has five parameters, um, three long type and two string type. The first parameter, p color, is a long type variable and if the calling application is not an ActiveX component, you can leave it as a zero. The second one, sz-url, it's a string type variable and it is responsible for the URL um, from the link from which you want to download your file. The third one, sz-file name, uh, it's a string type variable and here you need to put the whole path for your new uh, file. So not only the name of the new file, but the full path. The fourth, DW reserved, it's a long type variable. And as Microsoft said, it is reserved and must be a zero. So it's a zero, you can leave it as a zero. And the last parameter, LPFNCB, it's a long type variable. And you can also leave it as a zero if you're not caring about the download status. So how I use this? As the first parameter, I put a zero. The second parameter, it's a place for your URL, for the link, hyperlink to your file you want to download. The third one, you need to pass the full path for the new file. The fourth parameter, it's reserved, so it must be a zero. And the last one, also, if you're not caring about uh, download status, you can leave it as a zero. So you all, all you need to have is two variables, uh, two string variables, URL and file path. And I think this is enough information to use this uh, function. And if you feel it is not enough, you can go to the Microsoft documentation and link, I will leave the link in the description. The second method, saving byte array to file. This method requires to create HTTP object like XML HTTP or win HTTP as first open the URL and send the request to the server like I showed you in one of my videos. Secondly, create free file as long type, byte array and put new file path into string. Then put inside the byte array response body property of HTTP object. This step gets the file from object and puts inside the array. The last thing you have to do is create that free file in a given file path and put inside that byte array. A little bit complicated at the beginning, but not that hard in the end. And that was it. Those were two methods of how to download file from URL, which I was and I am still using in my macros. Which one is yours? Do you have your favorite method of how to download file from URL? Please tell me that in the comment section under this video. And if you like this video, please leave a like under the video. And if you want to see more of the videos like that, please hit that subscribe button. 
I also invite you to my website, simpleexcelvba.com, to my Pinterest profile with all the memes from my articles, to my Facebook profile. And if you want to show your support to my channel and to all of my work, you can buy me a coffee. All the links are in the description down below. I appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.